The Texas Medical Center, located in Houston, Texas, comprises 54 world-class medical, academic, and research institutions. Over 10 million patients from all over the world visit the Texas Medical Center each year. The Texas Medical Center is also home of the Gulf Coast Consortium for Antibiotic Resistance, a unique and collaborative group comprised of leading researchers and clinicians from University of Texas Health Science Center, Baylor College of Medicine, Rice University, the University of Houston, MD Anderson Cancer Center, and the University of Texas Medical Branch. Well, one of the main objectives of our program is not only foster high-end world-class research, but in order to have a lasting effect, we needed to have a program to train and attract the best talent on antimicrobial resistance. We draw on the breadth of talent and of scientists within the entire TMC community. Amazing scientists, world-class leaders in the field. We ask each of them to provide a 45 minute to one hour discussion directly in their field of study. They bring their A-game. And this course is designed specifically for the four fellows in the program. It's, it's really amazing. They also, we also offer it to other postdocs, trainees around the TMC. So it really allows the T32 fellows to get to know faculty as well as their peers around the medical center. Leaders from around literally the world descend on Houston each January to provide maybe the world's best course on AMR research. It's, it's spectacular, the people we get. We make the T32 fellow an integral part of that meeting. They will be conveners. They will introduce some of these world-class speakers. We ask them to present some of their research at this course. This not only cements them as firmly embedded within our own TMC research community, but really highlights that this T32 fellow, this person is someone to be reckoned with, and, and they'll become a world leader in their own right after having seen the other people that they're interacting with. That we can understand what's happening for a given patient or a given patient population, and then we can immediately translate what we learn back into the clinic. So this is clinic, to bench, back to bedside, and then back to the bench because we can continue to learn. So it takes PharmDs, it takes MDs, and it takes PhDs all working together. And they always come away with a new way of looking at things and looking at problems. To further the promise of progress in addressing antimicrobial resistance, a prestigious training program for infectious disease fellows, PhD postdoctoral fellows, and PharmDs was awarded by the National Institutes of Health. Trainees work at the interface of clinical practice, basic science, drug discovery, public health, and hospital epidemiology. Exceptional faculty mentors and a warm, collaborative, and cross-disciplinary environment offer the perfect platform for high-quality training. With a wide range of exposure, we expect our trainees to be well-rounded, competitive, and very successful in an academic research career. What I'm attempting to do is to use a novel protein that we discovered in our lab, LIA-X, which senses daptomycin and changes the outer membrane of the bacteria, thus disabling killing by daptomycin. Detect that in these bacteria. So this would have implications for patients who might fail therapy with this multidrug resistant organism. My research focuses on Clostridium difficile, an anaerobic pathogen causing approximately um, half a million infections uh, per year in the United States and uh, approximately 30,000 deaths per year and we look at resistance mechanism in this pathogen as well as drug discovery. So this program has really impacted my career uh, by helping build up my confidence in terms of public speaking and really just speaking to other researchers. Uh, since there's so many opportunities to present your work and just interact with some of the uh, leading AMR researchers in the field, it really helps grow your confidence uh, and just be able to talk science with people who are a little higher above you. The program has helped me uh, expand my understanding of antimicrobial resistance as a problem affecting uh, the clinical environment uh, and how research that we are doing in the lab can address uh, antimicrobial resistance in the clinic and improve stewardship efforts. It has helped me network with other researchers, uh, leading researchers in the field, and it will provide me with a uh, a foundation to start my own research program as an academic investigator. 
There is huge breadth, depth, and diversity of infectious disease conditions at the Texas Medical Center, and that makes every day exciting. We wanted to amalgamate this community, to put them together, to have a common objective in order to tackle the problem of antimicrobial resistance, all the way from the molecule to the patient, uh, to have our footprint not only in Houston, but nationally and internationally. People are happiest and most fulfilled when their work benefits society. Come join the Gulf Coast Consortium on Antibiotic Resistance and help us address one of the most important problems facing humanity today. Together, we will find new treatments and novel strategies to combat antibiotic resistance.